Hey guys, we're continuing with molar mass, but now we're doing practice sheet number three, but practice number three starts a little bit different. We have basically word problems, and this is how they're going to look uh, as we go on to stoichiometry, but uh, in this case, we're just talking about one, so we got to convert the number of grams that we have of lithium into the number of moles. So we're going to use our molar mass, but we're going to convert from our mass of 15 grams to the number of moles that represents. So we're going to do a conversion problem, kind of like uh, chapter, th or, yeah, chapter three in our dimensional analysis. So we're doing the same thing. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to read the question. It says, how many moles are in 15 grams of lithium? Now, one of the things with this, too, we're going to have to figure out how many significant figures does our answer need to be in. In this case, it needs to be into two uh, sig figs. Okay, so we need to make sure that we uh, put that in there. I always like to, again, put it in there uh, so we identify it, so we know what it is. So we're going to have two significant figures. So our answer here at the end needs to be in two significant figures. So we're going to start off with what the number is in this uh, question. So we have 15 grams of lithium. So what we have to do is we have to use our molar mass to convert it to moles because that's how many moles equals um, grams equals one mole. So what we have to do is we have lithium, and then that's the only thing we have to figure out. So what is the molar mass of lithium? So how do we figure that out? We go to the periodic table. So let's go back to our, our periodic table, and we find lithium. And lithium, the atomic weight of lithium is 7, which means that for one mole of lithium, it's 7 grams. Okay? It's not a compound, so we don't add things together. So 7 grams equals one mole. So if we go back to this right here, if I start off with grams, in order to get rid of grams, I have to put grams down here in the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and put over this way. And we know that 7 grams of lithium. Now, what goes on top? Well, what goes on top is how that 7 grams of lithium equals how many moles? In this case, it equals 1 mole. So we'll get rid of this other stuff here. And we know that it equals 1 mole. And again... We're just going to go ahead and we will underline that. Okay, and I can get rid of all the other stuff if I wanted to. And again, I like to be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, precise with this. Now, again, I'm looking at this and this. Okay, I'm going to raise this uh, here up to whatever this was. That's 22, so we'll raise this to 22. So we have everything there. Now, what do we need to do? Well, now what we need to do is we need to get rid of certain things. So I can't. I have to get rid of my grams. This is going to be moles of Li2. So we're going to get rid of this right here, grams of that. So I'm going to just cross that out. We'll go to our text, and we will strike through. And then we'll strike through this because I have that on top and bottom. And because I have that on top and bottom, I can get rid of it. So I'm left with moles of lithium. So that's where this moles of lithium came from. So how do we get the answer? Well, we always take this number, multiply by the top, and divide by the bottom. But remember, if there's one in either place, we do not have to do that step. So in this case, all we have to do is multiply by 1, which we really don't have to do, and then divide by 7. So let's pull up the calculator. And we have that. So we're going to put our 15, what we started off with. Uh, multiply by 1, which we don't change anything in order to do that, but we're going to divide by 7. And that equals 2.14. <clears throat> now, again, we're going to be in two significant figures. So if I put 2.14, I don't need to go any further than that. But how do, I, how do I get this to two significant figures? Well, I put my line right there. And I look at this number right here. This number is less than 4, so we're just going to drop it off. So there's our final answer right there. We could calculate it off, but we do need to highlight it. And that's how we go ahead and do molar mass. And we change from the number of the mass of a uh, element or compound to the number of moles. Hopefully it helped you out. I hope you're watching this first one here because that's going to help you with the rest of this. So keep watching these videos. It will help you out and explain how to do uh, that so you're ready for the assessment. As always, go Mohawks. Nelson out.